In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can live stream to Facebook Live without using OBS or any other encoding software. What's up guys, my name is Sam from Live Production Tips and Tools and today if you feel lazy or you feel like you cannot handle or your computer cannot handle OBS or any other encoding software and you just want to live stream straight forward uh, to Facebook Live uh, using your webcam or using any mirrorless or DSLR camera and make sure you get a very good audio. So in today's video, I'm going to be using a USB microphone and my mirrorless camera is going to be the GH5, uh, but you don't have to use a GH5. You can use any other camera that has a clean HDMI out. So without taking much time, let's get straight to it. As you can see, this is my page is already open. So assuming this is your Facebook page, um, we're going to be live streaming from here. So basically all you need to do is to go under create post. Okay. And click to live. Okay. And once you get here, you can see Facebook actually just introduced a new live producer design. Okay. This is a new I just made a video about it. If you want to check it out, I'm going to put a link down below. Just a walkthrough of everything about this new Facebook Live uh, producer design. So as you can see, uh, you can see this is the name of my page, which is the page, uh, the host page. OK, uh, you can choose where to post if you have multiple pages or if you have groups, you can. This is where you can actually choose where you want to post your video. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to keep it at my page. OK, so basically you're going to go to this first tab that says go live and you are going to click select. Then once you click select, you're going to go to the first option. OK, so you're going to choose use camera. OK, then you're going to go here. Uh, these are your cameras. OK, these are options you will have. So if you have a webcam, your webcam is going to appear here. OK, so for me, I have my capture card that is connected to my GH5. Uh, it's called USB video. So it's going to be this one. And as you can see, as soon as I click to it, I can see myself on screen right now. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the microphone that I want to use. OK, so I have to mention for this part, you have to be extra careful. I strongly recommend that you use a microphone that will be connected to your camera. So when you send the audio, it's coming through the HDMI and it will go through the capture card if you're using the same setup as me because that's going to help you actually avoid some latency issues or some uh, audio not syncing with your lips. Uh, other than that, if you're using a webcam, uh, you may use the audio from the webcam, which may not be that wow. OK, so the last option is actually an option where you can use a separate microphone like a USB microphone. And this is actually what I'm using right now. As you can see, uh, it's just out of frame so you guys can see it. But the secret about this is the USB microphone has actually a better uh, audio. OK, so this this gives me a really uh, crispy, nice audio. But the problem with it is that sometimes it's going to cause it's going to have some latency uh, issues. So one of the options or one of the the ways that I actually uh, I was able to solve this problem, I was able to solve it by downloading uh, this uh, little application called voice meter. Uh, banana okay which is something you can just google it voice mirror banana so many tutorials on uh, youtube so this it kind of helped me actually to uh to solve the latency problem with my usb microphone uh trying to live stream without passing through obs okay other than that if you're passing through obs you shouldn't have this problem because there's a way to actually sync uh, your audio or apply some delay on your USB microphone within OBS and then that's gonna 
help you to kind of sync your lips uh, or your image with the USB microphone. Okay, for the purpose of this video, since we are not using OBS, this uh, voice meter is the best way to actually match uh your audio okay so i encourage you check it out i'm gonna put a link down below to voice mirror website where you can download it other than that uh check out some tutorials online uh, on youtube you should be okay so now we're gonna choose the microphone that we are going to use which will be uh i'm gonna choose the voice meter output which is basically to my microphone by it's passing through the application of voice meter which is like a visual mixer okay so that's what i'm using now okay uh other than that if i was using just this microphone i would have gone to uh, line uh, m audio this is my microphone but if i do this way without passing through the voice meter then i'll have the latency problem okay they say if i had a microphone connected to my camera directly then i will choose the digital audio interface or usb digital audio okay so this will be the audio from my capture card so that way i would have my audio or a microphone connected directly to my camera then the camera will be sending the audio through the hdmi cable and then the hdmi cable will send it through the capture card then i'll get the audio from the capture card here so basically it will be this one okay but for the purpose of this this video again my clean audio is coming through voice meter so this is the one that i'm going to choose okay so once you have your camera uh, or your webcam and your audio selected here uh, the only thing you have to do is just go uh, next click next then you're gonna name or add a title to your live stream so let's say live stream then description make sure you add a description so say this is a test okay it will depend on what you want to live stream then uh you you have some options here where you can cross post to more pages if you want to post this live stream to other pages they may have you may decide if you want to share um, this live stream to other groups so basically once i am done all i have to do is click go live it's gonna count down and as you can see i am live right now okay let me just do a small test what's up guys my name is sam from live production tips and tools and welcome to my channel today i am doing a live stream on facebook uh, straight from my camera and it's going through my capture card so i'm not using obs and this is a test actually to see what it's gonna sound like and look like so without taking much time i hope this is enough and this is it all right so guys so as you can see if i go back to my page right now so as you can see i'm live right now okay so guys this is how you go live on facebook uh without passing through obs once you're done all you have to do is end your live video and click end okay and uh facebook is actually going to save it for you if you want, you have an option to delete the video or you can create some clips from your video, trim it, or even go to your Facebook page and review uh, the video that you just uh, streamed, okay? So this is it, guys. This is how you live stream on Facebook without using OBS, just using your camera and capture card uh, or use any other webcam, any camera that can connect directly to your computer. Use a separate mic like a USB mic or any microphone that you can connect to your camera. And yeah, so this is it. If you have questions, uh please let me know i still do recommend using obs if your computer can handle it thank you guys for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe 
If you have questions, let me know. Other than that, I will see you on my next video. Take care.